por favor. ¿Comienzo? ¿Todo bien? Ronald, ¿puedo empezar? Ok. Sí, ok. Bueno. Um, bueno, hello everyone. Welcome to this talk. My name is Juan Chacón, System Engineer and QA Analyst. Today I'm going to tell you a little about Agile Testing. Okay, this is me, Juan Chacón, and I am a QA analyst, as I said before. Um, this agile testing is a practice that has long been in the market, but difficult to implement in our day to day, especially because the lack of time. Sometimes the time to market, I mean, the time we have for our product to come out of production environment is over and therefore we do not pay attention to the small practice that can help us to avoid reward issues, low quality and also desmotivation. For this reason, I present Agile Test, a practice that tries to solve this problem by involving all of us, and I mean the entire team from the first stakeholders who put the first requirement to the last tester or developer who will be involved in the project. This is the agenda um, that I bring you today. Let's talk about what agility means to you. First, let's discover what is agile for you. Then, we will see if there is a difference between what we think and what it really is. Will we have well-defined concepts internalized? If not, then we will see that there is a gap that we need to fill. Then, I will talk to you about the Agile testing approach. What is it? What is it for? What is the scope of this new practice? What is new in this practice and the barriers that prevent us from applying it correctly in our projects? Perhaps someone feels identified. However, the objective is to reflect and try to do different things to obtain different results. In the point three, I will talk about the Agile Testing Manifesto. There is a Agile Manifesto similar to the Agile Manifesto, which aims to guide the commitment and behavior of the team. It supports in defining the correct parameters that the team can follow within an Agile frame. This manifesto prioritizes the being that those involved should be clear about the start any project and then execute each iteration. Finally, I will show you some techniques to put in practice agile testing. And you can see that not everything is solved by automation, but there are some other techniques that involve activities from the beginning of the project to the end. Okay? Well, what is Agile? Let's see how much you know about Agile. Let's see what we know by Agile. This will give us an idea of the level of knowledge, involvement, and practice of Agile. Please. Um, would you, I would like you to enter this link I will send you the link in the chat. Let me see a second, please. Or maybe you can scan that QA code. 
Okay. Um, there are two questions here in this form. Uh, and the question is, say two words that come to your mind when you think in Agile. When entering the link, you will find a form. Please enter two words. Two words that come to your mind when you think in Agile, please. Okay. Let's wait a few minutes for all of you to answer the survey. Just put two words. Um, while you are writing the, your answers, I will show you the resource on life. Let me see here. Can you see my screen, right? Okay, yes. Some of you are enter and put your answers. Good. Good, it's interesting all the answers. We see related words like quick, fast, Mm -hmm. Increment, iterative, iterative development. Okay. We are 19 people. There are nine people answers. But well, we, we notice fast is the most popular word in this survey, right? Uh, in this case, we see that word. Um, well, it's no far to the to the correct concept, but it's not too close. Okay. You see another word: manifesto, efficiency. But well, this is a good exercise because we can put in practice what we are thinking when we are thinking agile. Um, well, we are not close and far, but it's not the, the right concept, the accurate concept. Okay. Let's see here. Um, well, after seeing those results, we let's go to talk about the means, the really means of agile. And um, first, there is a lot of confusion about Agile and Scrum, right? Scrum is a widely used as an Agile approach that when many people say Agile, they are really thinking about Scrum. Agile is a general philosophy, okay? Scrum is a specific Agile approach. It's a methodology, okay? Agile is, according to Agile Alliance, the ability to create and respond the change in order to succeed in an uncertain and turbulent environment. I like that definition. However, as you can see, all the definitions have to do with the fact that is described as a skill. Being agile is a mindset. It's about finding the right thing to build fast, fail fast and learn. Being agile means thinking differently. Be flexible with the tasks we have, divided, collaborative, 
focus on solving the problem and not looking for guilt. It means having the ability to negotiate, having the ability to communicate your point of view, be innovative and contribute to the team's goal. There are different methodology that are based on this philosophy. For example, design thinking, lean startup, and scrum. Design thinking as a methodology that begins with the creative process, where it helps us to thinking in a solution. For another hand, lean startup is an, uh, another methodology. Those who have worked for a startup will understand that it's too important fail fast and learn because there is no time to lose in order to deliver value to the business. And finally, Scrum, our old friend. It helps us to implement a product through defining steps and good practice. All of them share an agile philosophy. They have in their DNA. Now, we see the difference between Agile and Scrum, for example. This is the difference, the main difference. One is the definition of mindset and another is an methodology. It's like our survey show us in a practice. As we saw, Agile has to do with developing new skills, such as problem solving strategies, like identify real problem, gather facts, brainstorming, determine solution, implement solution, etc. Business value. An Agile software developer knows how to focus on and deliver just what is needed to solve today's problem so that we can solicit user feedback before choosing tomorrow's top priority. Building empowered teams, ability to make decisions or empower the team to be self-organizing and self-direct. Communications, collaboration and feedback. Teamwork is the heart of agile software development. The productivity of the team as a whole is much greater than the individual members. Remember that. Knowledge sharing. For example, product owner to the team, business to the team, team to the business. Everyone need to knowledge sharing. Leadership tools and techniques, for example, software skills negotiation. Supportive culture, executive managers and team members acknowledge that high productivity only exists in a trusting environment where learning is expected and mistakes are tolerant. As we can see, these skills will only be incorporated in, into our habits only if we change our way to think. In other words, our mindset. Agile testing approach. Okay, now let's talk about agile testing approach. This agile testing refers to a software testing practice that follows different principles of agile software development. In other words, agile testing means testing software for defects or any other issue quickly or within the context of agile and give quickly back feedback for better and faster development of the product. In agile testing, testers follow the entire life cycle and constant feedback 
and regular interaction between developers and customers. The application can be delivered in a short time without compromising on the quality. The tester and developers respond quickly, change in the application rather than following a fixed plan. Agile testing requires con continuous interaction between developers, customers, managers, stakeholders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Testing is an important component of each phase of all process. Now, what is new about this agile testing approach? Well, the new is determined by the involvement of whole team. That is, everyone is responsible for quality. Everyone has a responsibility to ensure that they deliver a high quality product. Everyone has the responsibility to contribute to the quality of the software. This means a stock appointing the quality engineer as unique responsible for the quality of the product. I mean, we, are, we all get involved in quality and take advantage of our technical and soft skills to enhance it. Okay. Testing is not a phase with this approach. Testing is an activity. Everyone participates in the testing process. So testing stops being a phase and becomes an activity occurring alongside and interact with developers. Test as early as possible. Agile encourage testing as early as possible. If you are doing some of form of test driven development, for example, then testing actually start even before you start coding. So testing is one of the very first thing you do, not one of the last. Test as often as possible. Testing should be done very frequently, not once per sprint, not once per release. And if you are integrating often, you will need to be testing often, okay? Barriers. Some barriers are stay with us when we start a project. For example, keep the test team separate. This reduces the interaction and therefore the discussion of innovative solutions that the team can have. It isolates not only people, it isolates also ideas. There is no common vocabulary or language. When a human group groups together, it's very likely that they will begin to create their own codes. And these are standardized to all people. It's the same in a work team. The more trust there is, there will be codes that identify them. On the contrary, if they don't know exist, then we are facing a team that is no cohesive. The best thing is to speak the same language, standardize concepts, and above all that everyone understands the same. Another one, lack of technical skills or tools. Just as team members need to develop soft skills, they also need to keep learning about technical tools. They go hand in hand. Next, the tests are always at the end. Testing is one of the very first things you do, not one of the last as we see before. An organizational culture. 
it's about aligning to the organizational culture. If this is not committed to the agile mindset, then all the effort of the team members will be for naught. Okay. Okay. Um, agile testing manifesto. There is agile manifesto testing similar to agile manifesto, which aims to guide the commitment and behavior of the team. Okay. And this is the manifesto. Five points I present for you. For example, the number one, testing throw out over testing at the end. What did it mean? This would mean changing the paradigm and making early involvement of quality activities. Change the quality control for quality assurance. Next, preventing bugs over finding bugs. This means that we must break the traditional premise of our mission is to find all defects. On the contrary, we must really work as a team so that effects can be avoided in advance. Next, testing understanding over checking functionality. That is understanding the business, what the user wants, why he wants, and not just complete with the document specification. Four, building the best system over breaking the system. It re our favorite, right? <laughs> it refers to focusing the test to develop a better system, collaborate and lend our knowledge to build the best possible software. And the finally, team responsibility for quality over tester responsibility. This is the key point. I, yes, I mean, to deliver a quality product is to have the entire team committed and work together to generate a better solution and resort and make a difference. All engage in agile activities and practice. Okay. So now within this new framework, there is a new role that will have the mission of collaborating with the team at a functional and technical level. This new role called agile test must have the ability to communicate agile practice. Likewise, it will guarantee that all those involved are concerned about the quality of the process from the role where they are located. The IAL the tester will have a technical mastery and focus on the business. This is the principles of agile testing by Lisa Crispin and Janet Gregory. It's a good book for this topic. For example, provide continuous feedback, keep actions and decisions simple, enable face-to-face -face communication, practice continuous improvement, focus on people, deliver value on the customer, respond to change, self-organize, have encourage and enjoy. Obviously, these principles dominate the development of soft skills. In addition, they have a close relationship with the mindset of an agile team. Finally, they empower the leadership that is needed to direct, motivate, and guide the activities that dismiss over time in the traditional agile situation. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the part that I am talk about techniques to practice agile testing. In this part, 
we are going to talk about some techniques that, that help to achieve a correct management of the agile philosophy. Also, I will talk about techniques that as testers will help us to develop in this new proposed role called agile test. We start with automation. Probably the best known tool, but that's not why it's the best or the one that will solve all our problems to become an agile. Many times we, uh, we the testers, are asked to automate everything, to automate or not delay the test or to find all the issues that exist. This is no necessary correct. Why automation help us is prevent bugs. It doesn't find all of them. This tool is a complement that should not replace that engineer's expert judgment. Automating also help us to optimize time. It's true. But if we do not articulate it with other techniques, we will not take advantage of its full potential. In addition, automation helps to engineers to focus on problems and think of solutions, leaving repetitive activities. In it is opportunity to put our crea creativity to the test. Finally, a good automation strategy has to start with putting most of the effort into the unit test, for example. According to this, to this um, image, the test, the test should have the following level of effort. Unit test as a higher effort then component test and integration test, then, and finally, API test and UI test. Another technique, BDD and TDD. The real power of BDD, behavior driven development, comes from linking the specifications, I mean acceptance criteria, with the test cases and the code that's being developed. In the VDD world, if your acceptance criteria defined at the start of the process aren't keep up to date, then your test cases fail. If the test cases fail at the end of the process, then you have a clear indication that you need to circle back to the start and make updates. TDD, for another hand, promotes a test then code approach. It's based on, a, on the idea that if developers use test cases before writing functionality, they can create better software and often complete that project faster. This approach is different from normal software testing, where they generate the code first and only then test it then. With test-driven developer, TDD, developers create an automated test that validate the functionality of the software they are coding. They write only the code that gets validated in order to keep it clear and simple, eliminate bugs and speed up the development process. Test as early as possible. Agile encourage testing as early as possible. If you are doing some form of TDD, then testing actually start even before you start coding. So, Testing is one of the very first thing you do, not one of the last. 
as we said before. Next, user stories. Another fundamental piece in the process of developing a product are the user stories. It's important that these are well defined with the correct scope and writing in the language we all must understand their origin and flow that needs to be developed. User stories must be of high quality, be clear, valuable, and as small as possible to be able to be tested. To obtain quality user stories, we can make use of certain techniques presented such as hack path, story mapping, mind maps. For example, happy path help us to write direct, simple, and clear stories. With this, we evaluate the simple path and then increase the complexity. Story map mapping help us create a general map of the history that we are going to test. We know that human beings process information better when it comes in English. This is the importance of having this type of tools. Mind maps. It helps us to summarize the information of a requirement or user story so that the entire team quickly understand the level of complexity of the requirement and everyone is aligned. Next technique, profile I versus profile T. In short, this technique is focused on stop being a specialist to start getting involved in different areas. Stop saying it's not my job and say what can I support? What can I add or contribute to the team? and finally to the product that is being developed. Not just having a special or seeing in another way to deep knowledge of that specific subject. You need amplitude. That's why the horizontal line of the letter T. We need amplitude of knowledge in the different areas of the company we are operating. To develop these profiles, you need to change, obviously, your minds. Again, everything is about the minds. Another techniques. There are many, many techniques that can be applied in order to empower our role of agile testers. And why not empower our to our colleagues? to carry out these activities. We, the testers, are now with this approach, we can do, um, we can be the representative of agility. Here are other techniques such as example map mapping related to the construction of user stories, helps build clear and simple user stories with a standardizing language, for example. Another one is the exploratory and regression test. We usually apply both techniques. The difference is in knowing how to manage them and execute them at the accurate moment that is required and help create value for the business. Finally, test charts. It's a type of test direct related to making easy and understandable tests. I saved this technique for last because it's one of my favorite inception. As in the movie inception, you remember? It's about getting involved 
from the beginning of all activity, get into the minds of those involved and guide them to carry out the activity or techniques mentioned. The objectives are alignment of the team before the project begins, knowledge of business needs, how our effort will help provide a solution to the business. All members need to involve in the project and its participation. You need to think here in, if we do that inception stage, then we will influence in the mindset at the beginning. Agreement before, define much more things before the starting of the project. Inception is a meeting. Some questions we can ask at these inception meetings, for example, what are we here for? I mean, the purpose, fears, trade-offs or priorities, what yes or what no. This is related to defining the scope. If everyone is aligned at the beginning, a lot of things, a lot of bad would be avoided. And finally, conclusions. I want you to take the following message distributed in these four points. Agile is more than a methodology, it's a mindset. As we talked about before, Agile is more than a scrum. It's an activity, it's an ability, it's a mindset. Agile testing is a practice focusing whole team, changing its mindset. We really need to focus in whole team and involve together. We need to influence to change the minds. Testing is an activity, not a phase. Involve, change mindset of the team and stakeholders. Testing is not a phase. Everyone participates in the testing process. Finally, empower new skills for agile testers. We need to change our minds. Before get new skills, we need to change your mindset. It's like a ride a bike. The first time is difficult, but we need to drop fears, bias, then should be easy to manage whatever activity or technique to put in practice. Okay. To evaluate the learning, <laughs> we can make a final survey and then we can make a difference with the first survey. I put this link in the chat again or maybe you can scan the QR code in order to make the survey. Again, is the two words before, and I can display it and share the results with you. you can see. Okay. Can you please go to the link? Yeah. Okay. I, uh, it has to be two words, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yes. This is survey. Yes. Mm 
two months. Yes. The results. You can see the screen, right? And now we can accomplish our target. Agile is more than methodology. Agile is a mindset, as you put it in this new survey. This is good because uh, the approach of this, um, of this agile testing uh, methodology is to learn about agile. If we change our mindset, we can put it in practice all of techniques according to the best practice, okay? Thank you, everyone. Thank you to everyone to this opportunity. Thank you to your time and participate to the survey. Thank you, Juan, for the lesson. For the lesson. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Okay.